Hello everybody, Max Scoville here for IGN to unbox the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Collector's Edition that Activision just sent over to us. If you are unfamiliar with Sekiro, it is the new game from From Software, the guys who make the games where you throw the controller because they're very difficult. Uh, speaking of very difficult, we are going to open this up right now. I do not have a knife or a letter opener or anything of the sort, so I'm using my keys. Apologies. I believe there's actually a special Sekiro letter opener you can get as a pre-order bonus at some places, but uh... We don't have one, so I'm using my keys like a schlub. If only there was some place to get a knife around here. Anyway, uh, this is, I believe, $90 MSRP. It is available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, and I'm pretty sure this particular collector's edition is GameStop exclusive, uh, but we're gonna bust it open and take a look at what's in here. Uh, I think these are instructions on how to use scissors. Okay, it's really vague. Um, Okay, so a piece of foam. Uh, the real, the real juicy thing here is the. Oh, that. Yeah, I should have scissors for this. Sorry. <laughs> He's kind of strapped in here really good. Uh, yeah, this comes with an eight-inch collectible figurine statue, whatever you want to call it. Ronnie, do you have a knife? Hold on, maybe I got this. We're terrible at this. We're really bad. We do this for a living. We're horrible. I didn't even a FromSoft unboxing is difficult. It's a cool little knife. It's like a key. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get this out of here and show it off for you, and you can enjoy it, and then you can make fun of me in the comments. I don't care. It's fine. Uh, okay, so he's got a little sword that clicks on here. This is pretty straightforward. This is uh, pretty gorgeous as far as collector's edition statues go. Um, we've seen some real duds over the years. This one is not one of them. This is like a pretty gorgeous high-end figure. Uh, it also comes with It's even the unboxing is difficult. What am I supposed to parry? Okay, uh, it also comes with these coins, which are like large. They feel like they're even bigger than like your usual challenge coins. I don't know what you do with those. Play pogs or something. Uh, and then of course there is the beautiful steel book. I'll show that off in a moment. The game is in there. Uh, and then there's of course a nice little art book. I love these art books because they are specifically exactly the same size as video games, um, which is sort of a funny thing if you've got, you know, a bookshelf of video games and books. Uh, yeah, nice little art book. These are always really cute. They're just long enough to not really tell you a whole lot. Um, but yeah, nice little kind of cloth bound book. Uh, here is a code, which I'll cover up for the digital soundtrack. It's not very exciting. It's a bunch of sounds that you can listen to. Uh, and then instructions, and then there is, okay, this is, I would say this is the least impressive part of this whole thing. Uh, scroll. Which is not cloth, it's like a, it's, it just feels like kind of a, kind of just like a stinky paper, but it has a nice, uh, you know, a nice print there. It's like a, a, a map, I guess. Yeah, that's a map. It looks like a FromSoft game. But yeah, you can you can scroll that up and you can, you know, tuck that into your robes and you're bounding across the rooftops. Um, that's that's it. That's what's in there. Uh, we're gonna have plenty of coverage of this game uh, going up on IGN soon. So if you get stuck, check our guides. If you wanna know if it's worth it, check our review. And if you want to uh, watch people playing it, I'm sure we've got a video or two of that up there. Uh, on that note, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you around.